Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Firefox web browser, version 115, which rolled out earlier today, actually just a short while ago today, on the 4th of July, 2023. Now, this is a big update, and there's quite a lot going on in version 115, which to see if you have received the update, as always, we just head to the main menu, click on Help, About Firefox, the latest version in build now, 115. Point zero. Now, something just to take note of, as I have been posting before we have a look at the new features, fixes and changes. Earlier this year in January, Microsoft ended support for Windows 7 and Windows 8. And as I mentioned in a previous video, which I'll leave a link to in the description because it will provide you with a little bit more info. This is the last version of Firefox that users on those operating systems will receive. Mozilla does say that users on Windows 7 and Windows 8 will now automatically be migrated to the ESR115 version. That's the extended support release of Firefox so you can continue to receive important security updates. And while we are talking about end of supported operating systems, uh, this is also the last major version of Firefox that will support Apple Mac OS 10.12, 10.13 and 10.14. The same applies. Users on those operating systems will be migrated to the extended support release 115 version of Firefox. If you are running those out of support platforms and operating systems, just take note of those changes. Now, first of all, focusing on the new features, we get five new features in Firefox 115. And the first is that if you are migrating over from a Chromium based browser to Firefox, you can now bring over payment methods you've saved in Chrome based browsers to the Mozilla Firefox web browser. And if you are using Firefox on Linux, hardware video decoding is now enabled for Intel GPUs. And there's also a new improvement rolling out for the tab manager, which is found to the top right, this little upside down Chevron. And if we open up that menu, uh, the tab manager drop down now features close buttons, these little X buttons, so you can now close tabs more quickly, according to Mozilla. They've also refreshed and streamlined the user interface for importing data in from other browsers. So quite a little bit of focus from Mozilla yeah, um, to help you migrate and import your uh, data over from other web browsers if you are migrating over to Firefox. And um, users with platform Support for H.264 video decoding can now fall back to Cisco's open H.264 plugin for playback. And those are the five new features made available in this latest stable release. Now, there are two important fixes that have rolled out. And these fixes only apply to Windows users using Firefox on the Windows operating system. And um, the Windows magnifier now. So if you are using the accessibility Windows magnifier feature on Windows, now follows it now follows the text cursor correctly when the Firefox title bar is visible, which I think is a nice handy improvement if you are using the Windows magnifier. And Windows users on low-end USB Wi-Fi drivers and with OS geolocation disabled can now approve geolocation on a case-by-case -case basis without causing system-wide network instability. So those are the two fixes only rolling out for Windows users of the browser. Now, there are four important changes that have taken place in version 115, and just to mention these quickly. And the first is a small, yet I think will be helpful for a lot of users. There is an undo and redo option now available in the password fields. And if you are using the browser once again on Linux, a middle click on the new tab button on Linux will now either load a site if the clipboard contains a URL or run a search using the default search provider if it contains text. So that's another improvement and change ro rolling out for Linux users. And Firefox colorway themes will automatically now be migrated to the same theme hosted on Mozilla's add-ons repository. And Mozilla says this will allow you to keep uh, your colorways theme when um, they are later removed from Firefox installer files. So just take note of that little important change. And then the fourth and final change is regarding the extensions panel. Now, Mozilla says that certain Firefox users may come across a message in the extensions panel indicating that their add-ons are not allowed on the site currently open. And Mozilla says because of this, they have now introduced a new back-end feature to allow some extensions 
monitored by Mozilla to run on specific websites for various reasons, including security concerns. Now, over and above stating various reasons and security concerns, Mozilla does not give us any more information why they've made their change regarding the extensions and the extensions panel. So just take note of that. And those are the new features, the fixes and the changes. And there are some developer and enterprise and web platform changes that are taking place, which I don't think will be of use and of interest uh, to your average home user. And then over and above that, we also get the various security fixes that have rolled out with version 115. So if we just head back to our about a menu and we click on what's new just to have a bit more of an in-depth look at the various security fixes and here we go fixed various security issues and if we open that uh, in total there are 13 security fixes that have addressed security vulnerabilities in version 115 of the firefox web browser and um, out of the 13 security fixes that have rolled out to address 13 vulnerabilities we have four high-risk vulnerabilities. And as many of you will know, uh, high-risk and impact uh, vulnerabilities are your second highest after a critical impact vulnerability. So even if you are not interested in any new features, as always, just double-check that your browser is up to date. So that's more or less what's new in Firefox version 115, which, as mentioned, started rolling out earlier today on the 4th of July 2023. And over and above those fixes and changes does include those five new features. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.